We got a little beef rival here. They've already started. There's no beef. No beef, no beef. We own the city. Oh, okay. They just live here. Oh, <laughs> so they, they're paying rent? They're paying rent. You're the landlord? We are the landlord. Oh, how do you feel about that? What can I say? I mean, <laughs> I got to let him have his fun for today, you know? But we'll, we'll see later on. We'll see. We'll well, see. You're talking about gate time? Right now, he's having a good time, you know, but later on, we'll see. We'll you see. know that little tenant that's always late for rent? That's them. That's LAFC? That's them, yeah, they're late. Would you ever kick them out? You no, because no, they bring excitement. They bring excitement? Yeah, they, they bring money in. There's money? money? Yeah. There's money there? Yeah, they bring money in. What, what, are your, what are your thoughts on LAFC's new jersey? Obviously, he's wearing it. That one? Yeah. I thought it was a Manchester United jersey. Manchester United? Yeah, they have the same color. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you have this to say? Guy, there? This guy, this guy... <laughs> Clearly but but earlier, Los Angeles, right? right? <laughs> Clearly earlier he was loving it, but now he's come on. Now that the cameras yes. are on, is there right? Me? Right? I mean, tell, tell me, you, tell me you don't love this jersey. All right, I'll tell you, I don't love that jersey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to hear your thoughts. What are, what are your thoughts on this jersey? I know there's there's been a lot of mixed reviews, but what are your thoughts? Obviously, you bought it, you purchased it. I had mixed emotions in the beginning, but honestly, well, once I had it in my hands, I loved it. I loved it 100. percent I love the quality, the way it looks. I think they did a great job. Great job. Definitely. No, no problem with the sponsor. I've heard a lot of things about the sponsor. Uh, no. no. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, obviously, uh, different people might have different thoughts, but I personally love it. So. Did you start working out more now that it has the word flex on it? Of course I did. Of course I did. I mean, Look at this. What, what size are these? I mean. What gym do you go to? I mean, wait. Uh, the, ask him what size are those. Look, look, baby. What size? Oh, what size are these? Uh, well, we I'm, well, I'm bigger, bro, so I'm large. He meant the size of your bra, bro. Oh! <laughs> oh. Good. Good. I thought, you don't even know what flex power tools are, and you work with construction. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it said Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, all, it's all love. It's all love, yeah. peace and love. We have us have a good time. So well, yeah, it's a good ride. So you got to say that. <laughs> he drove, so we're good. <laughs> so somebody might get left. We'll, we'll see. No. All right, so I, so I got to ask you. Let me ask you about Chicharito. Obviously, he's rolling hot. Yeah. Five goals in three games. What are your thoughts on him so far? It's really good, man. It was uh, surprisingly because I'm the only non-Mexican in this group. And no? I'm, I'm not Mexican. I'm what are you? Salvador, what? Salvadorian, okay, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. I was going to say, I don't know. Some, sometimes, you know, you know, no, no, you know, no, you know no, our people, right, our people right, sometimes you're like... Right, you're right. No, right. no, 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 so it's really good because um, actually his own, his own people were, were talking shit about him. So when, I mean, you can't really blame him. So he was on a bad streak. So when they saw him go on this scoring streak that he's on, it was kind of surprising. And for us too, it's kind of like in LA, you can't be in LA and not be a winner. You got to do something to make your name known. Yeah. So he's trying to make his, he's trying to repair his name from last year. And no one's going to hate on that. No one's going to remember the bad. Oh, they are. But no, Galaxy are not going to, Galaxy fans are not going to remember the bad, the bad year he had. They're going to remember the good years he had. So now you're Mexican is what you're telling me. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on Chicharito so far? I think he's doing a great job as far as these first two games. It's early into the season. So I'm uh, actually glad that I'm Mexican. So I'm glad that he's uh, back at it, scoring where he should be. And um, hopefully he can get called back to the Selección and, and, and do it there, you know? Yeah, so. All right, so we got we to talk about the other Mexican superstar, Carlos Vela. Obviously, he hasn't been playing. He's been injured. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on Carlos Vela so far? It's a crack, you know, like numbers speak for themselves. There's a reason why he's, you know, was the leading scorer. He has the record and why he was the best player in the MLS. Uh, he just basically s switched off right now. He was injured, but hopefully when he comes back, he'll be able to help the, the team out for sure. So I got to ask you about, there, there's been many things made about the MLS power rankings. The MLS, the MLS tends to have LAC a little bit higher than the LA Galaxy. How do you feel about that? I mean, yeah, we, it's, the, it's the new team. They're doing good. They're the hot team. That, that, that's how it is. Uh, if Galaxy's not doing good, obviously, they're going to look at the other uh, L.A. team, and, yeah, they're doing good. But, I mean, if Galaxy was good, too, I mean, I'm pretty sure the, the rankings will be different. They'll be closer. Galaxy maybe will be higher. Maybe not. doesn't really matter because, I mean, rankings are just numbers. They're just, they're just on paper. Yeah. What annoys you the most about LAFC fans? Them. Them? <laughs> yeah. Them? They're here. That's why I brought They're them. Here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're here on your property, yeah. making noise, yeah. drinking no, your beer? No, uh, to be honest, like, I, I've, never I've never looked at LAFC as, as bad because to me, I look at it as like, it's, 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 it's soccer, it's football. I never, I never really try to say soccer, it's football. To me, if it's bringing up the football um, love here in Cali, in the States, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go against it. I love it. Like, I actually love it. Like, I'm all for it. 
Yeah. Like I've been, I've been following football since I was born. Uh, you know, because of my dad, and my uncles. So I'm pretty sure these guys have had the same story. So for football to keep growing in California, Los Angeles, I'm not gonna go against it. I actually want it. I bring it. Like if there was another team too that would go against us, that's cool too. Like bring it because it's gonna make it more popular. I feel that. So I gotta ask you: Were you an LA Galaxy fan before? What? Well, I want to say a fan. Uh, we come to the games. You know, watch the watch team play. Them. Every game, every cool. single I mean, game. Free That's tickets. a fan. That's almost free a fan. Tickets, free tickets. These guys are known for free tickets. So why not? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, look, honestly, honestly. Where would you get these free tickets? They were just passing them around like hotcakes? No, look, look, look. I'm going to tell you the truth. I go superior, and you buy the raw, the correct box of cereal, and you get them in there, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they still do that or no? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's where I got them today. I don't know. <laughs> That's what you got. That was an expensive ticket, man. I didn't know you could get them with the cereal box. Hey, no, it's, it's a great rivalry. Honestly, LA needed a rivalry. Obviously, not everybody is going to be a Galaxy fan, but ever since they made LAFC, um, it gave the city another chance or more people to join a little bit more, you know, and or follow a new team. So at the end of the day, these guys have the championships. We're trying to get there. We respect them for that, you know, but we've been consistent since we started in the MLS. And all, all we need is that title so we can move forward. So you talked about titles. This year, everybody has high expectations for LAFC. It feels like it's MLS or bust, MLS Cup or bust. Does LAFC win the, win the championship this year? We always want to win the championship. And if you're asking me, yes, we're going to win the championship. You're going to win it? Um, every year, like I said, we've been consistent. We just need that title. Uh, but we're definitely going to push forward and hopefully get that championship this year, for sure. Is LAFC going to win the championship this year? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> they're the Clippers of the, the uh, Clippers. They're the, they're the Clippers. The of soccer, Clippers. Bro. The they go. They go do good and then just lose. <laughs> they go choke. They're gonna choke. So you know you don't you don't think they're they're gonna make it far? How far does LFC go? As far as the. If they beat us, that's it. That's that's their championship. That's, that's it. it. That, they should that's be happy a championship. about that. Hey, they ain't gonna go there, bro. Since you remember, since LFC joined, what have they done? I'm here asking the questions, that's all right? right? I'm here to ask you the questions. That's, that's right. They haven't done anything. You haven't done anything. We have the most points. No, you're saying they don't got room to talk. No, I mean, we respect them for the champions that they have when there were eight teams in the league or whatever. But <laughs> now it's like they haven't done anything. Yeah, be honest, and let's, you haven't done anything. He said, be honest. All right. How far does, that, does the LA Galaxy go? Huh? How far does LA Galaxy go this year? Uh, if Cheech, if Cheech can uh, score like two or two goals, or just keep it consistent, one or two goals, uh, I think I think I think Galaxy can actually make it to the playoffs and actually go far. They actually could give some competition to the other teams. Um, as far as LAFC goes, yeah, they're consistent. They got good players. They've never win uh, withered down. But if they if they play us, that's pretty much like that. They're gassed out from what I saw the last time. They're just gassed out. They gotta beat Seattle. Like in Seattle, I think. Both teams can agree. Oh, Seattle's Seattle the strongest one. Team that beat them 3-0 this past week? I, I think, did Seattle beat you guys? I mean, yeah, but they tied 1-1 one, one, they couldn't score. <laughs> <laughs> one, I, three, zero. Yeah. Chicharito didn't score. It was, look, it was, it was, it was a 3-0, yeah. so those, those are the facts. All right, I got to ask you, last question here. What is the score of today's game? 3-1 LAFC. 3-1 LAFC? <laughs> what, what about you? 3-1 LAFC? That's what uh, he said, yeah. I say 2-1 Galaxy. To one galaxy. Last minute score just to just to make your heart break. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a heartbreak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so tell me so tell me how you feel about your buddy over here being an LAFC fan. I don't know. I, yeah, it's my primo, but I don't know. <laughs> is he though? Is he really your primo? <laughs> nah, he, my primo. Yeah, yeah, we good, we good. Yeah, yeah, we just expecting a good game. That's all. A good game. You feel me? A good game. Good so so. Times. You know, but you know we gonna get that W today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So tell tell me about the score. What's what's the score line gonna be? 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Two, one. Uh, Does Carlos Vela play? I ain't worried about him right now, but could be. Could be. He scores 1-2. Is Chicharito for real? He's been real. El, el Chichagar, le dicen. Chichagar. <laughs> so you're, you're a fan? You're a fan of... Adios. Yo, I f*** with him and yeah. Jonathan Dos Santos, yeah. you know. Okay, so his show. no bad blood there. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on uh, Chicharito? I don't know. He's gonna put in work today. Put in work? Same thing. Three one. Three one. Three one. Yeah. So let, let, let's let's talk about the rivalry. Um, did you ever consider being an LAFC fan? Did it ever cross your mind? Yeah. It, it did? did. It did. It did. What what went through your mind? Oh, 
it was just a new team. Just, <laughs> I'm a Chivas fan. Okay. So, you know, that's what it was. But it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. And what? So what? What kept you with the Galaxy? I mean, I'm a season ticket member, so we could, <laughs> that money you're here invested, money, bro. Yeah, I'm invested, bro. You couldn't get the money back, is that what you're saying? No, nah, no, nah, I could, you but could? you know, stayed here. You stayed here, yes, sir. Hey, I like that. I like that. All right, so what, what about you? Would you were you an LA Galaxy fan before? Well, that was the only LA team, so you know you gotta support LA team. So I was like, all right, cool. And then they saw something new, and then it was like low key. LAFC got a little bit more diverse. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm mess with them right quick. Mess with yeah, them. Right. Yeah. So no, no bad blood between you guys. Nah, hell no, we, we, we all exactly. That's the primo right there. So, you know, we here for a good time, good game. That's about it. How are you guys friends? We've been friends for over 20 years, man. And you know, a rivalry is a rivalry. We're enemies for a week, and then we get over it, and then we wait for the next game. So, what what, what are your thoughts about him being an LAFC fan? I mean, I didn't like it. I kind of gave him a, um, a lot of grief at first, but, you know, he's also a Chivas fan. I'm an America fan, so it's, it goes way back. So do you call him a, a Chivas USA fan? Uh, every now and then I will, but at the end of the day, you know, he's my brother. Uh, we both support the city, and we love what it does to the uh, community as far as bringing money here and bringing fans into the game. So what attracted you to LAFC? You know what, man? I When I was younger, I followed Galaxy. They left, and I kind of stayed away from it I mean I came to watch Beckham watch a lot of the great guys and then when they moved to LA I lived there I'm close by I said why not so I bought season tickets before I even knew who the players were and you know you just get invested it made it easier so you know coming to Carson being in LA it's like a 15 minute drive for me so it was a no-brainer so the drive and everything just and it's LA man it's so LA. yeah <laughs> it's not Carson <laughs> well what are your thoughts on that when he says it's LA not Carson well, back in 96, did anybody really think the MLS was going to survive? So, of course, they had to build something out here. Carson welcomed us, and you know what? That's why I'm a Dodger fan. I'm a Laker fan. I don't go for the new Clippers. I don't go for the Los Angeles Angels. It's all about tradition, man. Did you uh, did you ever consider becoming an LAFC fan? Never, never. Why? Um, I'm just not down with the trends, you know? This is going to fade. Uh, it's a great rivalry. I like what's happened recently, but... You know, just stay true. Do you see him coming back to being a Galaxy fan? Um, I pray for that every night, but I don't think it's gonna <laughs> gonna happen. You know, I'll, I'll love my brother anyway. Yeah. All right. So uh, let me ask you about the game. What's the scoreline gonna be? Is Carlos Vela gonna play? And if he does play, how many goals he's scoring? You know what? Questionable. He was hurt, even though they said he wasn't. So two to one, LAFC. Two to one. All right. About two. Chicharito's been rolling hot. You know what, five goals in three games. You know, we, he's a different player. How many goals is he scoring today? Scores two games today. Um, if Lejack comes back off the bench, I think he gets another one, so it'll be 3-1 LA Galaxy. 3-1 LA Galaxy? Yeah. See this game between the LA Galaxy and LAFC, the okay. rivalry so far the last couple of years. The rivalry? Uh, I mean, the rivalry is, is not as big of a deal because there's still there's a lot of turnover on the field. Our team is, is really new. Um, in a lot of positions from front to back. So on the field, you would expect everyone, to, at least on our side, to kind of keep their head and be able to maintain the game. Really, the rivalry is all, you know, the fans and, and how they see each other and, and um, that hatred and all that. So I talked to a lot of some LAFC fans, some LA Galaxy fans. They, they Some of them went from LA Galaxy to LAFC. Okay. Did you ever consider, did it ever cross your mind? No, I gotta ask the question, gotta ask the question, gotta ask the question. Yeah. Did it ever cross your mind to wanna join that side? Why? Okay. Why? No, 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 not why your question. Why on earth would any logical person leave the galaxy for a marketing scheme, a hat? <laughs> let me, no, let me tell you, I'll be, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be completely honest with you on my feelings in LAFC. You're of the people, right? It's a, it's a, that's the whole thing. They're they're somehow the, the the working man's club that's in downtown Los Angeles, where you gentrified an area away from people who used to live there, who actually put real artwork on the streets. We got it all got covered up with with you know Arby's marketing and Buffalo Wild Wings. That's fun. <laughs> you're you're a club of the people owned by 57 millionaires, but you're owned by celebrities. It's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. I'm not saying we're of the people. We're rich, and, we, and I love it. I love the fact that we spend money, we burn money on stupid players who are awful. It's, it's one of my favorite things. But to, to, to attempt to call yourself of the people when you play in downtown Los Angeles 
and people had to move out of their area. Or we had to, like, we had to tear down famous Los Angeles buildings to build up your stadium, your small stadium. That's what we waited on. For all this time, we waited on a downtown soccer-specific stadium in Los Angeles, and we built that director set. That like San Jose, San, the San Jose Stadium is better. Is it's not might not be better, but it's about equatable. It's real. It, it looks. I'll be honest with you. It, your stadium it looks like it's built to be taken apart when we relocate your Houston, like we relocated our last. Fans. So like you we relocated our last. So so you're upset. So you're upset. Not, no no no. There's nothing to be upset. So you're, you're let's say like, you're not impressed by the stadium. By, by the way it was built and everything. And you and you don't like that they, they, they want to represent the people when everything well, you explain. They don't represent the people. How, how, how do you represent the people? What people do you represent? I, if I recall, you tell me. You cover them as well as you cover us. Do they, not, do they not come out the gate telling people, if you're not from Los Angeles proper, you ain't from L.A.? Was that, was that, am I making that up or was that their marketing scheme? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know their marketing scheme. I do. Okay. I, believe their us, marketing, I believe their marketing scheme was if you're not from the heart of LA, you're not in Los Angeles. There ain't people in Culver City and Santa Monica and Compton and Watts. Those people aren't in LA. Go to, go to Watts and tell those people they ain't from LA. But you ain't going to do that. Of course you ain't going to do that. You're going to run your mouth on the internet. So, so, do, so let, let me ask you this. So do you feel, I know, I know you people, had my... And people who were Galaxy fans that left, the LA, that left over to LAFC, honestly, look yourself in the mirror. How can you trust a man that turns his back on his own football team? <laughs> how, do you how do you trust a man? I don't know. Regardless do, of what team do, he do you have, Do you have any of those friends? Friends? No. I, did, I, did I know people who hopped over to LAFC? Absolutely. But I haven't spoken to them since then. I would you what ever... What is there to talk about? How can I trust you? Fair enough. How can I trust you? Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, okay, let's let's talk about this game now. You hit on some key points. Let's talk about this game. You and I have talked about Chicharito. He's come blazing hot, Hello. obviously, three games. Give me your thoughts on Chicharito and how many goals he scores today. Uh, today? Uh, today today might be rough. If he gets one, it's great. If he gets, if he gets the opener, it's great. If he gets a game winner, the fucking roots going to blow off this joint. Uh, one is good. I'll take one. I'll, uh, yeah, one's good. I'll take one. Okay. Let's talk about LAFC. There's a lot of hype behind them this season, right? Uh, there's a, the, the power rankings in the MLS. Yeah. You know they always rank pretty high. Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts on on LAFC this season? Uh, they couldn't beat Houston. I don't know. It seems like no one who plays at that team enjoys playing at that team. Like Carlos, Vel the captain doesn't even want to show up to work. Your captain don't want to show up. I mean, how much can you? Uh, how you do got you some insider information? All I know is he's not showing up to work. I know he. I, I saw <laughs> one game he played and he got subbed and he was really pissed off because you know. His coach, who was the first coach at Chivas USA, I remember that. Uh, his coach shoved him off after 20 odd minutes. He hadn't showed him to work since then. So I don't know. How can how can an entire team be pulling in the same direction? Or captain doesn't show up. All right, final question. Let's finish off with this. Got, LA Galaxy got a new head coach. Give me your thoughts on Greg Vanny so far. I love that man. He's he's uh, he's a hell of a Galaxy player. He's an original 96er, second ever draft pick, uh, one of the highest, I think, the highest scoring defender in, in Galaxy history. Um, yeah, good tactician. I think a lot of people are concerned because historically Klein has hired a lot of people that he's either played with or, or had close relationships with. So there's a lot of people were, were a little concerned about another hire that's close to the, to the president of the club. But this is really an opportunity where it's the right pick at the right time. And it happens. Hey, baby. And it happens to be someone who is also close to the to the the president which might work in our benefit in getting him away out of uh getting him out of a system he was really comfortable in it's going to take some time i'm prepared to lose with him for a while because it might take a little time to get out of the contracts that dtk and chris klein have set up over the last few years so it's going to take time for greg to work out the system he wants but if you just look at this offseason alone what that guy and this administration has been able to do you have to applaud it we just got married in december congrats now I'm like I'm kind of on the market so <laughs> <laughs> so it says will you marry me Chicharito I don't know him her husband let's talk about this rivalry you know we, we got LAFC coming into your territory today you know it's a, it's a classical today but I'll start with you what are your thoughts on LAFC LAFC to me um, they remind me of the Clippers they need to prove something <laughs> they don't like Hang selfies, whatever. We hang championships. We got five, baby. We got oh, five. We got oh, five. So they, okay. What are your thoughts about LAFC? LAFC. But <laughs> if I have to say something nice about LAFC, yeah, you have to prove something. But when it came down to proving something and we brought our A game on the field, 
come on. The, we got way we got we got way more to show than they do. So there's only one jersey that I wear for LFC El Tráfico game. What is it? Oh, he wearing the Slatan. The Slatan Ibrahimovic. It's it's LAFC's daddy. <laughs> he owns them. He owns them. We were here he for does. that game and we were cheering. Slatan, Slatan. He brought him in and he turned that game around. We were down. At half. Yeah, he, I mean, he did an amazing thing. So that was in. We're here now. What are your thoughts on Chicharito? You know what? He's proven himself. He, and honestly, like, he's working his butt off, like, to come back, and he's doing really good. I, I honestly, I, I can't hate. If they're, if they're rocking the Galaxy Crest, I, I'm not going to hate on the player that's on my team. You support him 100%. Yeah, yeah. How many goals did he score today? Today? He hasn't scored anything. How many goals does he score today? Oh, uh, he's gonna score at least at least one, at least at least one. So you're saying these are Chicharito's what? His lucky cleat. So every time that Chicharito has scored his uh, goals, he's always had the color cleats, and I wore them the first game and the second game, and I didn't wear them last Sunday, and and we lost. So it's your so fault he didn't score. This is it's your fault. why we did not score because okay. I did not wear them, but I'm wearing them today. So you're wearing them now. Can we get a shot of the shoes? Can we, yeah. can we get a shot of the shoes? All right, so, so you're wearing them today. How many goals does Chicharito score today? Two. Two? Two. You're bold. Two. Two. Yeah, he has a fire. He, he a knows because he has a fire on his cleats. So, so what, what are your thoughts about Carlos Vela? Who? Carlos Vela, he played he play number 10 for LAFC. I don't know if you heard of him. Is he here? <laughs> he he should be here. But I thought I, I broke his leg. No? I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's available. And no thoughts on him? Doesn't bother no, you? No comment. No comment? Your thoughts on Vela? And Vela is he's a, he's a great player. Uh, I think we'll, we're going to shut him down if, if he actually sits on the pitch. Other than that, Carlos Vela is just another player. Last question. What are your thoughts on Greg Vanny and the way he's coached this team so far? Oh, amazing. That's it. Amazing. This Galaxy team is effing way better than Different. The last, yeah. Different. Yeah. Totally, bro. It's freaking amazing. It's like, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's, can I say it? Like, say it. We're going to win another. Championship with him as our head coach. There you go. Hell yeah.